What is the purpose of a drilling fluid? To clean the bottom of the hole. To cool, clean, and lubricate the drill bit. To maintain the walls of the hole. To transport cuttings to the surface. And to prevent entry of formation fluids into the wellbore. Let's look at a drilling fluid problem. Uh, to calculate the hydrostatic head of a column of fluid, we multiply 0 0.052, which is a constant. The constant was derived by measuring the hydrostatic head of a column of fluid one foot deep if the column of fluid weighed one pound per gallon. So we multiply 0 0.052 times true vertical depth in feet times the density of mud, the mud weight, in pounds per gallon. So, if you were drilling into a formation with a pressure of 10,000 pounds per square inch at a depth of 16,000 feet, what should your drilling fluid weigh? Remember, the drilling fluid should weigh enough to create a hydrostatic head equal to the formation pressure. Okay, let's solve this problem. Step one, we write the equation. 10,000 pounds per square inch, which is the formation pressure, and that would equal 0 0.052, the constant, times the true vertical depth of our well, which is 16,000 feet, times the mud weight in pounds per gallon. Uh, the missing variable is the mud weight in pounds per gallon. So we restructure our equation to read the formation pressure, which is 10,000 pounds per square inch, divide that by 0 0.052 times 16,000, a depth of our well, and we get an answer of 12.0 pounds per gallon. In other words, 12.0 pounds per gallon multiplied by 0 0.052 times the depth of the well, 16,000 feet, would equal a formation pressure or a hydrostatic head, which equals the formation pressure of 10,000 PSI.